So today we are starting with IP addressing. So first of all, we'll talk about what is the IP address. So what IP address is, it is a unique identity of a computer in the LAN local area network or over the internet. So we are starting with IP addressing. So the IP addressing, which we are talking about, this is known as IPv4 addresses. IPv4 is known as internet protocol version four IP addresses, right? So the length of this IP address is 32 bits. As you know that in networking, everything will be calculated in bits. So the length of this IP address is 32 bits. It is having four octaves. It is having four octaves. That means it is having four sections of eight bit each. So if I will write the IP address here, so IP address looks something like this, 192, 168, 10.10. So you know that your mobile phone is having an IP address, your laptop is having an IP address, your desktop, every networking device is having an IP address, right? Now, so if I will represent this IP address into binary, so you can see this is its binary representation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are eight bits and all these bits are off. Then another eight bits, So these are total 32 bits. These are total 32 bits, right? Now, so all these bits are off. That means the value is zero. If the first bit is on, let's suppose this bit will become one. So its value, actual value is going to be one. If second bit is on, value is going to be two. If the third bit is on, value is going to be four. Fourth bit is on, value is going to be eight. Fifth bit is on, value is going to be 16. And then 32 then 64 and then 128 so these values are like this so if i will take the sum of all these values 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal is equal to 255 so the total sum of all these values if all these bits are on value is going to be 255 so that means in an octave you cannot have a value more than 255 so you cannot have a value more than 255 in one octave. So this was the decimal representation, right? Now, if I will do the binary representation of 192, the first bit will become on. So the first bit is on, the value is 128. The second bit is on, 128 plus 64 is 192. In the second octave, if the first bit is on, value is 128. Third bit is on, 128 plus 32 is 160, and eight is 168 then 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 plus 2 is 10. So this is the binary representation of this particular IP address, right? Now further, these IP addresses are divided into two parts. Further, these IP addresses are divided into two parts. So we have private IP addresses and we have public IP addresses. So first we are talking about private IP So what private IP addresses are, private IP addresses are those IP addresses which are routable in the intranet. Intranet means within the office, within the LAN, local area network, right? So there are three range of IP addresses which are reserved for private IP addresses, right? The first range is 192.168.0.0. So that means whenever you will see 192.168, you will come to know that it is a private IP address, right? So every office can have the same range of private IP addresses. My office can have 192, 168. Your office can have 192, 168. Your home network can also have 192, 168, right? So every network can have the same range of IP addresses because this range is not unique over the internet. This is unique only in the intranet. That means within the LAN, right? Second is 172. Dot sixteen dot zero dot zero from one seventy to sixteen to one seventy two thirty one dot zero dot zero. So one seventy to sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, up to thirty one. This range is also private, and the third is going to be ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. 
So these are the three range of IP addresses which are reserved for private IP addresses. So these are the three range of IP addresses which are reserved for private IP addresses, right? So that means whenever you will be needing private IP addresses, you'll be taking out of these three range only, right? Next we are talking about is public IP addresses. So public IP addresses are those IP addresses which are routable over the internet. So public IP addresses So these are the unique IP addresses which are routable over the internet. So these are the unique IP addresses which are routable over the internet, right? So you know that if you have an instance sitting in US and if you want to take its remote by sitting in India, so it's creating a public IP addresses, right? So what are public IP addresses other than the range? The rest are known as public IP addresses. The rest IP addresses are known as public IP addresses other than the IP addresses which we had rest IP addresses are known as public IP addresses, right? Now, so, further, these IP addresses are divided into different, different classes. Now, why they are divided into different, different classes? Because depending upon the usage, right? Let's suppose my company need uh, 200 IP addresses, your organization might be needing 5,000 IP addresses. Some other organization might be needing 60,000 IP addresses. So depending upon the requirement, so you will be able to select different, different classes, different, different set of IP addresses, right? So there are five classes of of IP addresses. So the first is known as Class A, class A is from 1 to 126. Then we have class B, class B is from 128 to 191. Then we have class C, class C is from 192 to 223. Then you have class D, class D is from 224 to 239. And then we have class Class eight is from 242 to So these are the five classes of IP addresses. So out of these five classes, we will not be using class D and E because these are reserved for research and broadcast. So class D and E, these are reserved for research and broadcast. We'll not be using these two classes. We will be only using class A, B, and C. So the next question which comes is that how you will come to know that IP address belongs to which class? How you will come to know? So the answer is that first octet of an IP address decides that IP address belongs to which class. First octet of an IP address decides that IP address belongs to which class. So let's suppose I'm having an IP address which is 129.10.10.10. So this does not belong to this class. This belongs to class B. So this is IP address class B. I'll write 11 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10. So 11 lies between this. So this is the class IP address of class A. This is the IP address of class B. And if I will type 220 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10, so that means first octet lies into this class. So this is the IP address of class C, right? So in the next lecture, what we will be doing is we will be talking about explanation of all these classes. We'll start explaining with class C, right? So that was about today's lecture. So next we will be starting with all these classes, right?